uh, fraternal greetings to the Communist Party of China on the occasion of the 20th National Congress. Revolutionary greetings to all the delegates and to the entire membership of the Communist Party of China on the occasion of its 20th National Congress. Our party, the Zimbabwe Communist Party ZCP, was founded in 2017. Some members of both the ruling party in Zimbabwe and the main opposition, influenced by the principles of scientific socialism, came together, realizing that neither of the main existing parties were capable of fulfilling the aspirations of the workers, peasants, and the progressive intelligentsia of Zimbabwe. The ZCP believes that our focus should be on the building of a national democratic economy, which will restore what was lost when Zimbabwe was de-industrialized through the disastrous economic structural adjustment program of 1991, instigated by the IMF and the World Bank. The ZCP is utterly opposed to the sanctions first imposed on Zimbabwe in 1999 due to the intervention of the Zimbabwe National Army in the Congo War and strengthened by the strangely named Zimbabwe Democracy and the Economic Recovery Act, ZDR, imposed by the USA Congress. We nevertheless do not believe that sanctions are the main reason for the collapse of the economy of Zimbabwe. We believe that national planning centered around production could have solved most of the problems created by sanctions. And not all countries have imposed or supported sanctions on Zimbabwe. The People's Republic of China have never supported sanctions on our country. The program of the Zimbabwe Communist Party, completing the liberation of Zimbabwe, concentrates on the formation of a national plan linked to devolution of power to the people. Such a plan must be centered around production and led by our workers and the peasants. Comrades, since 1949, we have seen China develop from a poor and divided country into the major world power it is today, and the main bulwark against the financial and the military imperialism of the United States of America and its allies. More importantly, China, under the leadership of the CPC, has hugely improved the living standards of its people and is winning the battle against pollution. China is becoming a green and pleasant land. When we explain to ordinary people why China is overtaking the United States of America, we tell them that while the USA has an economy based on money, the economy of China is based on production, and that money without production becomes worthless. The Zimbabwe Communist Party concurs with the Communist Party of China to the view that we now need a multipolar world. We believe that a united and economically independent Africa can be achieved through plant production and the building of industry in each country, but with strong economic, social, and cultural links between the countries of our continent. Such plans should be independent of external control, but China and other progressive countries can assist in particular through the implementation of 50-50 projects and technical training of our people. With the rest of the world, the ZCP eagerly awaits the decisions of the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of China. We, we have no doubt that those decisions will be made following intensive research and a discussion and that they will not only take the the land and people of China forward, but also have a positive influence in the rest of the world. Forward to socialism, forward.
Thank you so much. All the best. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mabena, General Secretary of the Zimbabwe Communist Party. Forward to international solidarity. Forward.